I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on alkynes. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of The Dad Destroyer and Orgo Man Products. I want to go over a reaction with you involving the alkynes. The alkynes are triple bonded molecules that we see in organic chemistry. They're not as reactive as the alkenes, but there's still quite a lot of reactions that we need to know on the alkynes. I've given you all the needed reactions in the Dad Destroyer that you're going to see on the DAT exam. But let's do one that I think you'll find challenging, so come around and let's have a look. What I want to do is I want to go from this alkyne, which is called 1-pentyne, and I want to make this ring, which is, a cyc which is a substituted cyclopropane ring. The minute you see you want to make a cyclopropane propane, you should think of a very famous reaction known as the Simmons-Smith reaction. And what I'm going to do is to first label these carbons just so we can keep track. A, B, C, D, E. So if this is my A, B, C, D, E, not counting this carbon, which will come from the Simmons-Smith, I need to add on four carbons. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my 1-pentyne and I'm going to remove this H with NaNH2 and ammonia and I'm going to add on my 4-carbon fragment. And I'm going to use a 4-carbon alkyl halide. And that will allow me to build on the needed 4 carbons. The next thing I do is if you put the H's in, you would see that these groups, this is above an H, and this is, this is below an H, and this is above an H. That means that the relationship here is trans. So I got to maintain that relationship stereochemically. So I'm going to use sodium in liquid ammonia, and that's going to put the two groups opposite each other or in the trans or, um, more correctly, the E configuration. Notice the H's are opposites and the R groups are opposites. Then I do my Simmons-Smith, and I put it in red, where I'm going to insert the CH2 group. So the CH2 group gets inserted, and these two groups stay in the same position. I'll call the butyl group R1, and I'll call the propyl group R2, just so it doesn't look like a mess. So as you can see, there's my final product, in which I was able to treat this E-alkene, with CH2I2, copper, zinc, and ether in what's called a Simmons-Smith, and I make my cyclopropane ring. I hope this helps and gives you a good understanding of one of the key reactions that we use in organic chemistry to make larger rings. All right, I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.